Sarah, Sarah, I said it before. <clears throat> I said it before, not on here, but I've said it before. Is that <clears throat> Resident Evil Eight? At some points, really felt like a love letter to the long, long time I fell in love with it. Yeah, it's a totally long time fan because. And this is this is a major spoiler drop I wanted to bring up is that when you're playing as Chris and you come across Miranda's dungeon or whatever, fucking the just explains the whole background. I, Spencer lore drop is just like, oh, so Miranda is to blame for fucking all of everything. Like, I mean, Miranda's honest to God the reason that everything happened because mm-hmm. Spencer was hot for her. Let's just be real. They totally I'm, fucked. I'm going to be was like, listen, <laughs> you're convincing me to do this. I'm going to do it. I found this flower in Africa. It's going to be great. It's like, Brand is the reason why everything had happened to the Resident Evil franchise. I'm going to be real honest with you. I think that's, I I don't like retcons. I think that is incredibly shoehorned in. Like it, it ultimately means like nothing to me at the end of the day. It, it, it's, it's, it doesn't come off as organic. I, I'm not a fan of that personally. No, I, don't, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. So I think that's where we. I think that's where we I mean, differ. I, 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 I think it's by definition a retcon. Absolutely. I, I don't I'm know. Correct. Spencer though, because... was been pretty hard. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, don't lie to me. Semper was Spencer was sipping pretty damn hard. That letter screamed sip to me. He's like, oh, I learned so much from you, and our time is just sitting there drinking tea. I'm like, Spencer, just say it. Y'all fucked. <laughs> in regards, like, in regards to what Jose just said, is that I don't think it's necessarily a retcon because a retcon, yeah, uh, it, it is by definition uh, replacing something that was already there, and there wasn't something already there before Resident Evil Zero. Mm-hmm. Um, so really, we're just going back to the 1960s to when mm-hmm. Spencer was still investigating a possible virus to change the world. And and back then, he had probably good ambitions. Mm-hmm. He probably was maybe a good person at some point when he met with Miranda. He um, meets this immortal I, woman. I mean, yeah, if we want to go into the nomenclature, <laughs> I, I would say like you're probably technically correct on that. But just like the uh, X person was actually here the whole time. I'm I'm just not a fan. See, and I just in general because, um, <laughs> because they've they've never really explained why Spencer made um umbrella at least from what I remember. Like we know, I mean, do you really need that to be answered? Yes, we, we could do that for like any minutia of things out there. We got it. We got it answered here, and pretty much flat out because oh, he found out that immortality existed. That Miranda is the key to, or one of the keys to to Im, to immortality, and he had been debating about going to Africa and taking this flower, and she convinced him, and he stole the crest of the four lords to make the umbrella sit. Like, I love this shit. I was losing my mind. At first, I was like, is that letter going to say Albert Wesker on it? But then it said Spencer, and I, like, threw my arms up. I was like, oh my god, Miranda's the reason everything in Resident Evil happened. I, like, I, I, have to, I have to agree with Sarah, because it, like, it, it literally... It, it, it uh, I heard someone say that um, when you realize that that was something they had never spoken of in the series before, and they're just now in Resident Evil Village, the eighth game, well, not the eighth game, but like the number eight game, uh, just dropping that piece of information or world lore, um, it just goes to show you that Resident Evil as a whole has a has so much more to offer and has so much more like unfolding to do uh and that it could probably go on for many 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 more years well, oh um, it's going just, to just, they will go on just to move <laughs> on because we're running low on time and uh mm-hmm. just because we're at an impasse with that points oh yeah um well, let's, 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 yeah here, here, we, we, we will we will get there sarah i promise you i, I just i got i got sarah sarah i, I gotta keep i gotta keep that the trainer mean, rolling hold on, so. hold on. does that mean he's related to gumby yes Okay. Me, right. I right. fucked a mold man. Okay. <laughs> okay. Anyways, okay. We, 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 we got to keep the trainer rolling. Uh, so for all <laughs> these next points, let's go ahead and try to keep it nice and succinct. Um, shit, where did I have my stuff? What did I everyone think of? Castle. Sarah, no. <laughs> okay, come on. We, we will get there. Okay. Um, inventory management. What did, you, what did everyone think about the shift from basically what we've been used to for the last uh, four mm-hmm. years? Um, for from seven to remake three remake where you do have to use an item box you have to plan your adventures whether you should bring more ammo you should bring health uh, resources whatnot did you did so, you enjoy that it's more streamlined ocd yeah, so I, ocd yeah ocd for sure i i really liked that 
they brought the briefcase back because obviously harkens back to Resident Evil 4. Um, but also uh, in in I was I was looking at some of like the the early uh, art and stuff for Ethan, and originally he was actually supposed to be har- uh, uh, you know uh, carrying around a backpack like a cargo backpack and not a briefcase. Um, which was just an interesting little tidbit, but um, no, it was really good. It was really cool. Basically, very, 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 very similar to the briefcase in Resident Evil Four. Mm-hmm. Um, but but even just more so in terms of like, because um, especially for here, the only things you're really keeping in the briefcase are your weapons, your ammo, lock picks, and, uh, <coughs> and mines. But like all your health resources and whatnot, those are like in a separate tab. Like whether it's your rusted metal or whatnot. But just yeah, more so. But more so, yeah, like, 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 let's take like Resident Evil Two remake. Like, if you have like eight item slots, you can take your gun, you can take a box of ammo, health, like. You have to make that very conscious decision just like what am i going to take with me because where i'm going i can grab more stuff and like what if i need key items like that that aspect is absolutely like 100 percent gone from village did you necessarily enjoy that streamline yes i I don't think i missed out on anything with there not being a limited limited inventory and there being item boxes i don't think that really necessarily removes or adds anything to the game uh this this game specifically uh because resident <laughs> evil 2 remake and resident evil 3 remake are very differently formatted uh than this game um and i think those games are heavily based on on in the moment survival and just and and more slow slower paced um action <laughs> sequences puzzle solving um, and and very much linear, more linear. Um, whereas when you're in an open world aspect, uh, you just got to keep running yeah. and gunning. Run, I, running and gunning is really the, what this game does. Um, I think you're definitely right on that part where it is like the game was specifically tailor made with this in mind. And therefore, I don't miss it in here. Whereas like those previous games do centrally revolve around that premise. And that's why it works in either scenario. Um, we missed out on Ethan getting his fucking uh hand bit off, uh, oh, like in the very opening fight. Yeah. Hands. Oh, and, and they hid that in all the previews. The dude just is just yeah. missing like uh most of his it's ring finger, his pinky. Oh god, I hate it. So I one thing you guys probably don't know about me is that I I hate no no no. So I'm okay with like blood. I'm okay with like that or whatever. But exposed bone, if I see Ooh, that shit... Yeah, that just fucks me up. Oh, God. Like, it just sends shivers down my spine. I, like, just... I can't. I can't <laughs> get it. It's just... Yeah, and it, so... It's, and it's just... I, I think it's funny that he couldn't even, like, reattach him, because that shit's in that lichen's belly. You're not gonna find that, dude. <laughs> I would hope... I would hope he would, able, he would be able to, like, grow it back, but... You know. <laughs> It'll grow back. It's okay. Um... <laughs> What did we think about the uh, factory level, uh, Heisenberg's little dungeon? Resident Evil 5, that factory with the bugs in it. I can't remember what the fuck oh, that level bug, was called. Those bugs are murder machines. But it, it reminded me of the factory with the bugs in it. And there was that one hallway that had all the soldiers lined up, and my dumbass was thinking, one side of my brain went, it'll be okay, I can run through this hallway and everything will be fine. And then the other half went, oh no, something's gonna jump out at me and scare the <laughs> fuck out of me. But I went with this side of my brain, and I fucking sped through and at last sold that, like, jumped out at the end, and I fucking screamed. I, um, I loved I, fighting those enemies, having to, like, specifically go for that weak point. Like, it was, like, the perfect amount mm-hmm. of, like, wacky Oh, um, total risk. Mi- mi- mixture. Yeah. It was a mixture of, like, um, oh, bio, bio weapons and then just, like, machinery. It's just like, oh, I love this aesthetic. Also, uh, I know I said this in the chat, but uh, Heisen- Heisenberg simps rise up. We're here. Um, I, We're I, wanted here. Up. I wanted to bring this up about Heisenberg's factory. I watched a video recently that literally, uh, inspirationally wise, they directly took tons of inspiration from Frankenstein's army. Oh, totally. Which all of the enemies look almost exactly the same. Uh, mm. just the setting, the idea of it, it's very much just Frankenstein-esque in general. Well, he was uh, based off of Frankenstein. Yeah, exactly. So, they also wanted a character that smoked. That was also in the art book. 
the, the I mean, big uh the big propeller dude too. I don't I don't like smokers, but uh I make an <laughs> exception for him. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you like how the big propeller dude is just like able to shoot a flamethrower at you because you just fucked with his machinery so bad? <laughs> because he gets so mad. <laughs> <laughs> also Heisen that fucking the cutscene when like Heisenberg's like ten foot tall bitch and like throwing like the knife and stuff. <laughs> I love that scene. I fucking love that scene. Especially because the propeller dudes are like Rrr! and Heisenberg's like, shut the fuck up and close I, the I, gate. I did love oh, the fleeting God. moments that I'm just like, oh shit, are we gonna like temporarily team up with yeah. Heisenberg or something? I mean, it didn't okay, happen, so- but so the funny thing is, b- boyfriend and I called this. I told him that Heisenberg reminds me. Or this is before I I I hit his castle. Heisenberg reminded me of an early two thousands underworld villain, where mm. he's like, "Oh, you know, we have to team up and work and work with them, but he's gonna betray us halfway through the game." Mm-hmm. And then literally, the the hint at teasing up with them that he betrays you, and I went, "We called it." <laughs> it's not, I was like, it's not- oh, shit." <laughs> It's that typical, like, uh, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. However, the uh, uh, that person doesn't agree with my methods, and I don't agree with their methods, so we still can't work together. So, you know. <laughs> um, oh, oh, also, I wanted to bring up, um, have any of you, real quick reference, have any of you ever played the game Inside? Uh, yes. Okay. I played so, a little bit of it. So the factory setting when you're actually in the factory and you're climbing the factory levels and you just see those conveyor belts with all these people like being like hanging from like their shoulders or whatever being moved across the conveyor belts. That was so reminiscent of that game of the game inside because that was like all about a human factory. And I was just like, what the fuck? This is so similar to that. So I don't know if they took inspiration from that or something because that was really good trophy for uh sn- snipering one of the hating bodies on no but i belt. no but i saw that there was a trophy for that <laughs> so a fun a fun little easter egg is if you do it in front of the duke which it's totally possible to he'll actually start clapping and say nice shot Mr. Winters. <laughs> and it's pretty that's, awesome that's nice like it's so cool i was not expecting that i didn't think that he would comment on that but it was a really cool like did, and of course, he does like little like clap too. Did everyone else crack up when Heisenberg in the middle of that boss battle went, "Chris, that boulder punching, oh, punching asshole!" asshole. Yes. I laughed in Japan, so fucking bad. In the bad. Japanese dub, he calls him a gorilla. And um, <laughs> Heisenberg's voice actor recently revealed that that line was a last minute addition from the English translators. Oh, nice! And. And they were, and he didn't get the reference at first, and he had to ask them what what, what the reference was, and they had to explain Resident Evil Five <laughs> to him. And he was like, "Oh, okay." I, like the lyrics playing. So Chris punches a boulder. <laughs> I just love would, that they that they're Heisenberg, playing into that. Yeah, right. How, how would Heisenberg, Heisenberg know that know Chris punched a boulder? Yeah, they, they've done their research. I get, but apparently they had a drone above that volcano. Or, or Chris was like talking to his buddies back in the BSAA, just like, dude, I, I was punching a boulder, dude. Shit was so tight. There's, there's probably like some secret docket somewhere that literally states that Chris Redfield took out Albert Wesker by punching a boulder into a volcano and traipsing across the landscape. It, it's you know it's there because <laughs> they because as soon as they got home from that shit, they had to write like a fifty page report on everything that happened because that's life <laughs> I, um, was, was I that... remember a couple months ago i was asked to be a part of the uh 25th anniversary like fan video that my friend was setting up that was sent to uh capcom uh development team five which is the resident evil team and my friend was like all right say say what your favorite thing about resident evil is and i know what the fuck to say and i'd forgotten to, to like tape the video till, till like the day till like the day it was due so i tape it and i go I like to punch boulders, <laughs> <laughs> and, and and someone like photoshopped in the like the like gif of Chris punching punching a boulder, and I was like, God forbid, Capcom Development Five needs to know what I love about this decade old franchise that Chris was, punches a boulder. 